Hi, this is Caleb with App Design Tips, and I'm going to show you how you can import assets into Adobe XD. We've already added and created a few assets here in previous videos, but in this video I want to show you how to import assets from other programs and from other templates within Adobe XD. So to get started, we're going to add a status bar along the top here. And to do that, we can jump over into our assets. And there's a file Apple UI design resource that you can just double click and open that up as a new project. And we can see here that we have a list of different elements here. And what I really want, if I zoom in here, is this status bar here. So now that we see this element here, we can just drag a rectangle to make sure that we have everything selected here. And now I'll just hold down Command C and I can pull down this project and go to my previous project, click on the artboard and Command V. So now I've imported these assets from another project and the first thing that I want to do is go to the assets panel and create a new symbol from this and that way I can hold down option and duplicate this over here and I'm just going to bring this up here and now that that's up there, I have to select everything below it. And we'll just move this down a little bit to make room for that. And maybe I'll just bring this up once more. And now that I've imported this asset, what I can do is I can zoom in here and I can change the battery icon in here. If I just double click in here until I get this uh, rectangle, I can actually change this and if you notice on the left here that rectangle also changes in size because I created a symbol. So now I can just change this color to red now that we have a low battery. And that's importing assets from other projects. Now you may also want to create assets from other programs like Adobe Illustrator. So I've done that here. If you open up the assets folder again. We can see this shopping cart AI. So this is an Adobe Illustrator file. So if you notice you can't just drag and drop this right on the artboard. You have to just open this up in Illustrator. And now I can select any SVG, any vector graphics that I want. And I can do Command C. And if I go back into Adobe Experience Design, I can just hold down Command V. And now that's pasted in here. And a cool trick with this is because I've already created this uh, shopping cart symbol, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, Command X, and I can double click inside of this symbol so that I'm editing the symbol now. And when I do Command V, this is actually a part of the symbol. So I'm going to change the appearance of this to be white. And if I go back to my layers panel, I can see that I also have this previous shopping cart that I made, so I'm just going to delete that layer. And now I have a brand new layer from Adobe Illustrator. Now one of my favorite tools for assets is Icons 8. And you can find this at icons8.com. And this is basically just a library of thousands and thousands of icons, and it really saves me time not having to create all of these little icons that I can just find them within this app. So I have it downloaded here, and you can see this icon right here. So just clicking on this, it'll pull up a little panel here. And this is just a third-party program. And now I can click on, let's say, Search. And the cool thing about this is if I'm designing for iOS, I can click on this iOS icon pack, and I can get things that are iOS-centric. Or I can click on Windows 10 and get icons for that. And because I'm designing this for iOS, I'm just going to stick with that. And then another cool thing is you can choose what file type that you want to export this in as. So just a regular PNG, a PDF, but I'm going to stick with SVG so we can edit them if we need to. You can also choose what kind of color that you want them edited as. And I like to stick with black because you can actually edit these directly in Adobe XD after you import them. So this is just as simple as a drag and drop. We've dropped this in. And you can see if I double click this, I actually have the nodes here to change this vector graphic. So that makes it really nice. And now I'm just going to replace it with this one. So I'm going to choose 
maybe 24 pixels. Replace that and then if I double click inside this group I'm going to change this color to white and now I can just cut, double click inside here and paste and I'll delete the layer below it. And now we've replaced this but I noticed that this icon size is 20 pixels so I'm just going to double click inside here make sure that this matches that at 20 pixels and we should be good there. Same thing with the hamburger menu. So I can just do a search for menu. That pulls up very easily. So I'm going to do the same thing. Resize this down to 20. And we double click inside of it. Make this white. And now I can Command X. Double click inside this symbol area. Command V and I will delete the layer below it. Now just make sure my padding's good. And we've just updated these assets by loading them from Icons 8, Adobe Illustrator, and from previous templates or projects.